one bit from me going down without a fight. The clown. I have been anticipating for this to arrive since flagship. As you all know, I went to the flagship store. It was very awesome. I didn't get to get this guy at the flagship store, but I did get to get him online, like inside of the store. So, without further ado, we are going to unbox it. By the way, here's the box. Here's the side. Here's the back. The other side shows him with the. And here's the front, and here's the top, and the bottom's just black. Alright, without further ado, let's open it, and you guys are going to get to see me unbox Art the Clown, new for this year. Okay. So far, we're going to have to... Okay. Smells like spirit. Let me like clean the box over so we can pull them. First thing we can pull out is his shoes. They're very good quality. Next up is him. This is actual metal. We want it. His like back piece, I'm pretty sure. The hand with the like arm motor that allows him to like wave and stuff. This is mechanism. His clothing. Leg foam, another shoe, some poles, his adapter, his base, and last 
last but not least is his head. I'm letting y'all get the first look at it. Obviously. Oh wow, that is completely awesome. His eyes look so cool. Let me show you the detail on his eyes. Those look so lifelike. And his head is like, yeah, and his, he's, he's latex. I thought he was gonna be like hard plastic. His, um, just look at that head. That is completely awesome. Ah! We put these leg poles on it. it, it I don't think it matters which leg pole goes where because they're not labeled. Next step is to put his shoes on. Next step is to put the foam on his legs. Let's put these leg poles on. Alrighty, I'm gonna pan up real quick because he's already starting to get a little bit tall. These are his ruffles and these are some sandbags. This is his big clothing piece with his giant jacket. I'm not gonna put this on. I put it on. Pant right down over his leg mechanism. I hate dealing with waste pieces. Next step is his shoulder. It's not his shoulder. Oh, it's his motor. Next step is to slide the clothing over. Next step is to put on the hand with the horn. Stuff that one in. I pull the sleeves. Next step is to put on this next piece right here. Crap, that was harder than expected. Now, next step is to put on the head. Goes in like that. Alright, now before I roll the demo, I'm just going to fix him up real quick, make sure he looks good, and then we'll get on with the demo. Alrighty, that is him. I have him hooked up to this thing right here. I'll plug that in, plug his adapter into him. So, when I click this, he should go. Take that off real quick. Three, two, one. <laughs>
I think he is a solid 10 out of 10. He is one of my favorite props of the year. I like his eyes. I like how they're like very realistic. I like his teeth. He's very like, he's tall. He's pretty tall. Pretty tall compared to me at least. He is like, his clothes are very good quality. His, hard plastic hands. This is real metal. So I really do like him. Although his audio can get annoying, I, I, I don't have any problems with him other than his audio being pretty annoying. I like him a lot. He is a great animatronic. I would recommend purchasing him for $200. I think this is a very good animatronic to buy. Mainly with a coupon as well. If you have a coupon, then this would be a great animatronic to purchase. He is just an awesome prop. I love him, and you should buy him. And that's basically it for the entire video. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment, share, and, um, real quick, let me do one more demo. Your average hunter out. Ah!